In this lecture snippet, I'd like to do a general overview of what Clonezilla is. And the purpose for this is because I will be doing a few videos on the installation of the server edition of Clonezilla. And I want to give out some basic information of what it can and can't do to give a full understanding of the software before I actually get into the installation of it and the configuration of Clonezilla. And so in this video, I'm looking at doing a general overview. Now Clonezilla, you can see the website is at clonezilla.org. That's the URL. You can also see the software description that I wrote for it. Basically this software will allow us to take a computer's hard drive or a partition and we can take that whole hard drive or partition and put it into an image file. And then we can later on take that image file and either duplicate that same computer to multiple computers so that we have an exact clone of it or we can use it for restoring our computer back to its original state. And so that's what the software is designed to do. Some of the features with Clonezilla, you can see that it supports all the common Linux, Apple, and Microsoft file systems. And so when we run Clonezilla, we can actually duplicate any of these operating systems and take an exact copy of their hard drive. You can also do what's called multicast cloning, which is going to allow us to actually push the one image to multiple computers at the exact same time very efficiently. And that's a great way to reimage whole entire offices or entire classrooms at one time. It also only stores the actual blocks or the bits of a partition that are actually used. And um, what I mean by that is, let's just say I have a 500 gigabyte hard drive and I take an image of it. Rather than the image being 500 gigabytes, it might only be 5 or maybe 10 gigabytes because it only actually stores the data that's technically used on the disk and not the whole partition itself. So it really reduces the size of our images, which is a great feature for it. It's very efficient in that manner. Now some of the limitations with the software, you can see that I have listed software RAID. If you have your hard drive set up in a software fashion using RAID from your operating system, don't expect this software to do a very good job with the cloning. Also, this is not intended to do incremental backups, which means once we make an image file, we won't continually update that image file itself with new backups. And also, if we have a, let's just say we take an image of a 80 gig hard drive, we can't take that image and put it on a smaller sized hard drive. So it has to be of at least equal size or greater in order for us to do a clone. Now the cost of Clonezilla is absolutely free and it falls under the GNU General Public License which is typical for Linux applications. You can see that it runs on two different platforms, the Clonezilla Live or the Clonezilla Server Edition. The Clonezilla Live is going to be a bootable disk that we have that will allow us to take an image of one hard drive or one partition at a time. The Clonezilla Server Edition is designed for multiple computers and doing some multiple cloning and multiple restoring of images at one time. Now the Clonezilla Live basically have to download an ISO file from the website. We can then burn it to a CD or DVD or we can make a bootable flash drive with that ISO and then we actually will use that disk, we'll boot into that operating system and then we'll be able to make a single clone of our computer. So this is a very good solution for just imaging one computer at a time. The server edition is however used for multiple computers and so for large environments you, you would want to focus in on the server edition. In this case it installs under the diskless remote boot and Linux package and it's actually part of that and the installation for that has been really optimized for a couple of the Linux distributions that we have like Red Hat Fedora, you can see CentOS, uh, Debian, Ubuntu and SUSE Linux and so if you're running one of those Linux distributions you can install the DRBL package on those particular Linux distributions and then Clonezilla Server Edition is actually part of that. So that'll be the way we have to install Clonezilla Server Edition. In the next few videos of this course I'll actually be installing it and actually configuring Clonezilla.